Part of the allure to any motorsport is the adrenaline factor, the reward, and the risk. It can be a dangerous and humbling sport, a reality every rider acknowledges with utmost respect for the craft. At the Amsoil finish line jump. Oh, wow. We've got a, the sled crashed up, and now we've got a couple of riders down. On the formula fueled by Sunoco, we're taking a deeper dive into the various elements of snowmobile racing as part of Amsoil Championship Snowcross powered by Ram Trucks. On this feature, we're showcasing the men and women who put themselves in harm's way for the safety of our athletes, the Snowcross Mobile Medical Team. What happens is, is when a rider goes down, we actually do a 10 second pause. And I have run to something and they drive away. So if that happens, it is what it is, and riders are tough and we try to know. Now if they stay down and we know that rider doesn't stay down very often, then I actually make sure that I go into action at that point. Usually we know the rider enough that we know when to call a red flag or hey, we've got something in medical needs. And our flaggers are fantastic at helping us with that because they'll let us know if there's medical that's needed or even to check out. Uh, my life is in danger every time I walk on the track and everybody knows it. So we really try to work with our flaggers. Um, and the one thing is, is they, they'll jump into action. So if they know that we need help, they'll go get the buggy they'll go grab a board i mean they'll help us they'll tell us they'll ask us what we need and then they'll get it we have at least three to four of us on track at all times um, i end up going to the trailer a lot to tape i do a lot of taping and i do a lot of care of the athletes and assessment but we also have we have the polaris ranger rapid response and it was donated by polaris our fxr mobile medical trailer we also on the ranger we have a backboard we have a Stokes basket. We have an actual basket in there that we can actually have all the tools that we need to take care of a rider. So for me, I'm looking at the rider, the way they're riding. I actually watch how they ride. I'm pretty familiar since I've been working with them for four years that I can actually decide, you know, if they're doing something weird or if their their motion is wrong. I kind of keep an eye on that. Sometimes I know the rider's style, so they'll get down low or they'll get down high, or maybe they're riding kind of funny, and I can kind of pick that up. So I'm kind of watching to see what they're doing, but then also I'm looking for anything out of the order. If they kind of fall off or slip or something like that, so it's kind of in, like one of those things that you just never know what's going to happen. So we just kind of take it for what it's worth and make it happen and work hard at trying to make sure that the riders are safe. I love my riders. I have never, four years ago when I started this journey, I never thought that I would be here. But my riders are so special to me. I care about each and every one of them. They're all important. The flaggers, the, the crews, all the people that I come in contact with, I want them to know that we care. They're special and they can get treatment whenever they need it. And I think that's huge and to me, it's really family and I found a family in Snowcross that I never thought I'd ever have and I got to be pro in a sport I knew nothing about at the beginning but you know what I've grown to love the sport with a passion and that's the cool part is I never thought I'd be so passionate about this sport but I love snowmobile racing <laughs> so that's how I uh, feel about Snowcross.